I am putting up this gazebo in my new backyard. Me and a few friends uh, put this up last weekend, put up the structure, and now I'm going to be building out the roof parts and then um, assembling that and putting that roof on with a few guys and I'll show you that whole process. We just got this new backyard put in recently and now we need some shade. So I will show you uh, the whole process. It is 99 degrees here in Sacramento. So I'm gonna try and get these roof panels finished soon. And then later in the video, I will get to some woodworking. And anyways, I'll show you the whole process what I'm doing the next few days. So stay tuned. My backyard did not start out this way. It was quite literally dirt and weeds for almost three years. Dogs loved it, humans, not so much. This gazebo represents the last piece of the puzzle for creating a usable space that our kids will grow up with. I'll show you how this space looked when we bought the house towards the end of the video. Okay, I did one whole panel and now I'm super hot, so I'm gonna go inside and cool down for a bit. And I'm sure the comments are gonna love that me stopping work after just one panel. But the iPhone stopped working for a bit because it said the temperature is too hot. So if the iPhone can't work in this heat, neither am I, and it makes sense in my head. So I'm gonna go inside for just a second and I'll be out again soon. That's all the plastic from each one of the panels I had to take off. It, it took me about like 35, 40 minutes to take off all the plastic from all the panels, so. Um, anyways, it's time to cool down. Okay, it's the next day. It is a lot cooler today than yesterday. Yesterday was a high of 106. Today it's 78 degrees at 9 a.m., which is a lot nicer. I got my coffee and my Buster Posey hug mug, and I'm ready to work on the larger roof panels of the gazebo, so let's get going. See all this work I'm doing here? Well, it was a waste of time. I made a mistake, as I do with every project, but don't worry, it's easily fixable. Okay, I made a mistake, I know what's new. After I put all the panels onto the larger roof structure, I realized something wasn't right, and I had put these brackets, which attach to the base of the gazebo, I put them on the wrong side. So they should be on the top here, not on the bottom. When we put in the patio, grass, plants, and furniture, it was great. But the backyard is in full sun from 11 a.m. to 7.30 p.m., so it gets pretty dang hot in the summer. I'm hoping the gazebo will fix that, because if not, we'll have to figure something else out. Okay, let's take a little woodworking break. This TV console table has been tough. What should have taken a week has taken five, but through all the time, mistakes, adjustments, more mistakes, new techniques and hardware, I have learned so much. And just like how the gazebo will complete our backyard, this piece will finish the interior of our house, a house which we bought three years ago. The house is finally almost done. Before I go out and finish those roof panels for the gazebo, I didn't quite finish them yet. I wanna go and show you the finished TV console table. I just finished it the other day. And, uh, and I'm happy with it, so here it is. I went with walnut for this piece. The cabinet's walnut plywood with walnut edge banding, and I used walnut lumber for the doors, the top, and the legs. The top turned out really nice. I really love the figure in this wood. The doors are inset, an eighth of an inch, and I used soft closed door hinges, which worked really well. They're really easy. The legs are that curved mid-century modern look and I'm, again, I'm happy with it. It took me about five weeks working on and off and on, but I'm slow, I take my time, and I'm slower than most woodworkers, but it always gets done, and it turned out pretty nice, so I'm happy with it. Anyways, let's go finish those roof panels. The final touches are being put on these roof panels, and why I insist on working on this between three and 5 p.m. when it is 100 degrees outside, I will never know. Although this is made out of just stained pine and thin sheet metal, it is durable and will provide shade. And shade means we can actually use our backyard to its fullest and it can stop functioning solely as a very, very large dog toilet.
Okay, we got the roof up. We got Chris here helping. Dylan here, fantastic. Check this out. Look at that, huh? Only a few dents, few bruises, but it looks good. Just because something starts out a little rough doesn't mean it needs to stay that way. Great things take time and with some hard work, sweat, and perseverance, a place can be transformed into something where cooler memories can be made.